Okay, I'm going to talk for two or three minutes on modems, routers, uh, and networks, IP addresses, so there can be no confusion, and going forward you can make some smart decisions here. So, modems and routers operate differently. Um, a router is what creates a, a network, either a wireless network or a wired network. We can see here on the Mac, when you click this radar symbol up at the top, that's your airport symbol, it shows all of the available networks. These are all available wireless networks. Uh, if they have a lock next to them, that means they're password protected. If it has a check next to it, it means that you're connected to that network. Um, the only thing that can give off these networks is a router. Now, it, well, how a router and modem are different is that a modem takes the service that you buy from your cable uh, or your, your internet providing company and it gives you one connection to the internet, one line connection to the internet. A router is a device that splits that line so that multiple devices can get onto it. Now sometimes the modem and the router are separate and sometimes the companies sell you a modem with a router built into it. So let's take a look at some common modems and routers. See here we can see a lot of, lot of common looking cable modems. We'll take a look at common routers. You can see these devices look very similar. We can even type in here uh, cable modem router and the devices still look uh, very similar so it's difficult to figure out what's what. Um, but it's very important if you want to figure out what type of internet connection issues you're having. So a router gives you an IP address. It splits the internet connection from your modem and allows multiple computers to get on to that network and get on to that one line internet connection. So if your computer is telling you that it, it can't get on the internet uh, but it's, it's still connected to a network, if you are able to connect to a network but you still can't surf the web, that means the problem is not with your computer. It means the problem is with the device your computer is connecting to. So it's, it has a problem with that router and that router is not giving you, it's not splitting that internet connection. So it's not giving you a connection to the internet. So then the next thing to do would be to figure out what exact model of router you have and look into the settings on that router and how it's configured. Is it configured to, to split the connection properly uh, or lock out certain things? Uh, there's a lot of different settings and then you have to get more specific into what device you actually have. So. That's just some basics on routers, modems, and network connections. Hopefully that clears things up so uh, as you go forward if you're troubleshooting issues, uh, you'll be clear on what is what and where to go to solve the problem at hand.